What's up guys, welcome back to Chelsea Explained and I have to start the video by just showing Sheffield's wrestles this season. I mean you see they have been getting clapped the whole season, left, right and center. I mean they even lost 5-0 to Burnley. But we somehow can't even beat them in the last seconds of the game. We drawing them 2-2. It's uh, absolutely embarrassing and it, that shouldn't be acceptable at Chelsea Football Club. And I'm just uh, reminding you all guys what Bele Silva said for a couple of months ago. It's time to change. If you wait any longer, it will be too late. And we can firmly say it has been too late already, uh, let's be honest guys. Uh, this gaffer Pochettino is simply not good enough to be a manager of this football club and I really believe he is massively overrated and he has definitely failed here at Chelsea Football Club. We need to find someone new in the summer and he comes out of the, the game having so many excuses uh, can never take accountability or responsibility whatsoever we're first gonna talk about that what Pochettino uh, said after the game uh, he said the draw today is a fair result it's correct this is a new team and we are learning the process always takes time it's not a magic thing it's a project a three or five year process to build a team. It's absolutely crazy it's coming out and having the guts to say that. Uh, I am a believer that you need to give someone time but uh, and be patient with someone. But first you have to prove yourself that you are the right guy. Uh, why should Chelsea fans believe in saying it's a new team? Well, it's been a new team now for nine months eight months and we still playing this poor to this day there isn't any improvement whatsoever and i get so angry and frustrating hearing all these excuses from him every single time we're drawing or losing uh, he never talks about that he needs to improve it's just that the players are a new team or they're tired or a process takes three five years but when he came into Chelsea and made that first interview, he told everyone that he's here to win and won't have any excuses. The guy is a uh, completely liar and, and saying the complete opposite now. And he continues saying at 52 years old, uh, you identify really quickly whether the team is ready to compete or not. I mean, shouldn't you have then told your owners that you need experience in the market and go up? And, and tell them how you really feel because you can't come here and complain when you haven't uh, got what you wanted you had a January transfer window to tell uh, your um, sporting directors and the owners what you really want in the market uh, but clearly you're showing you're a yes man and you're just hinting that we need experience uh, yeah maybe the team isn't ready but we have heard the same words from Frank Lampard and then when he got sacked and Thomas Tuchel came in he changed everything for us and the rest is history. Managers can have a huge difference on the squad. I feel like they are very responsible for how you're playing and performance uh, and the consistency you see they're out on the pitch. So don't try and blame everything on everything else of course some of these players are inexperienced we know that that's not really Pochettino's fault but how we setting up games how we can beat a Burnley or Sheffield or rock bottom how we're always conceding so many goals and we're just simply chaos all over the pitch and we've been that from the start of the season to now that's on the manager guys that's definitely on the manager uh, he's saying maybe this group is not mature enough to compete in games every three days another ridiculous excuse there and it continues it's a new team and we're still learning about the profiles the pro process will always take time he's still learning about the profiles he still doesn't know the team that's crazy when he's been manager for so long i mean the matter of fact he sticks gallagher as a left winger 
and disaster as a right back is, is a criminal offense, honestly. He continues to say that they, they, they try to find solutions on how to be more solid and adds it's not easy to be solid. Well, it's easy for other managers, but you can't come up with a proper uh, defensive structure to uh, stop us from conceding so many goals. We are open like a book. There's many players that's not tracking back. The players are so, so shaky and nervous towards the last minutes. And you really feel like we're all going to concede. That's on the manager, especially when we are seven, eight months into our new manager ever since he came here. Uh, and I really feel that Pochettino never takes responsibility, accountability. I don't think he's good enough to be here. I think he's massively overrated, and, and that is the proof here. And we can talk all day long about the owners, the sporting directors. I know we have to go at them as well. They have, um, this, they have set up uh, for Pochettino to not be uh, getting the results as well because of the place we have bought. But I, as I'm continuously stressing, I really believe that uh, managers can still have a huge impact with this team. It's just that you need to find the right manager that suits this job that is good enough to be at Chelsea. Because Pochettino is not that guy. Uh, and I realized that it's for many matches ago, and that's why I feel there's no point in making match periods and reviews. Because what's the point? I just know how it's gonna end. I know what the performances is going to be like. The thing I want to talk about is that standards have dropped so much. Some in, uh, people in this fan base still believe Pochettino is not at fault. And as I'm saying, of course, the owners have, <laughs> have started this ridiculous, unrealistic project and we have sporting directors not being able to sign good enough players. But, I mean, the, the standards have dropped massively from our fans. Uh, the standards is also getting lower because of Pochettino and his Spurs mentality. An absolute loser mentality that we have there out of the pitch. And it's getting translated to the players as well. Um, so we, we need to get the standards back. We need to get a new gaffer in place that will put those standards in place where we should be. Should have high... Uh, levels and bores in this football club because we see Chelsea football club getting destroyed and ripped apart in front of our eyes if we're not acting but as Bella Silva said it's time to change if you wait any longer it will be too the thing I really can't understand as I touch upon is why he's continuously throughout this season using players in position they shouldn't be playing at and if Pochettino were so good with youth players and younger guys, why is he never given an academy an opportunity out there? Why? Why are you going to play this as a right back when he's not the right back? Why are you going to play Gallagher as a left winger when we have Mihaila Mudrik and Raheem Sterling on uh, the bench, bench and available? I can't understand that because we're losing so much balance in the team. Uh, and we don't have a right back that can support a right winger. We have a Gallagher at left wing that had uh, the worst performance that, uh, in this season from him. And I can't really blame him because he's not a left winger. I still think Pochettino has misused him this whole season. I think he's just an eight. And that's it. Or using him in a double pivot at as a segundo volante to just counterattack. Otherwise, I don't see any use of using Gallagher just in the number 10 more as a left or right winger. Because I think we're losing massive balance and potential in the final third because of that. And this also comes from the manager. You have to understand. This is why I really can't understand why you're continuously misusing players. can never give someone a chance from the academy. Uh, even if we have both rice backs out. I mean, what's the point even in having academy then? What's the point if they can never get an opportunity, especially when we got players out? Um, look at what the club did. He took up some youngsters, Bradley, Kwanzaa, and they performed good. 
Bradley even scored against us and got man of the match. I can't understand Pochettino to this day. Nothing makes sense uh, anymore with this manager. And I also want to talk about the potential life of the Pochettino. Uh, let's say he is getting sacked and we're finding a new manager. Then we need to back that manager in the market. We can't sign under 23 players. He has to have a say in the market. You need to you need to get in players that will suit that manager's uh, tactical setup and system, etc. You need to listen to that manager and back him in the market. And uh, you need to give him uh, more control. But is that really going to happen? Are the, are the owners going to take the L and, be, and, and admit that this project was wrong and get in on um, a proper manager. I don't believe that they're gonna continue with this ridic ridiculous project and we're going to have another mid-season next season and then it's going to be too late to save Chelsea potentially. If we're getting a new manager, they change in the project, they're backing the manager, then I believe we can uh, turn the fortunes. I mean imagine, I'm just gonna give an example. I'm not gonna, I'm not saying we're gonna get Antonio Conte uh, even though I absolutely love that manager. Uh, he won Premier League for us, but I'm not saying we're gonna get him. But I'm just gonna give him an example. Imagine what he could do if he got the players he actually wants. Or uh, let's take Nigel's mom. Uh, that's someone I would absolutely love at Chelsea. If he would be a Chelsea manager and you're backing him to 100%. Imagine what he could do. If you look at Chad Alonso by Leverkusen, they have backed him in the market. Let me know your thoughts in comments down below. Do you think uh, Porsche team is overrated? Do you think he should go? And if he goes, do you think we should find a new manager? And who should that be? Let me know that. And thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. And I'll see you later. Peace.